right, well, this is the official unveiling of DJI Mini 3 Pro. Oh, that's so sick. All right, guys, so I went with the DJI Mini 3 Pro for a couple different reasons, and I'll get into that shortly. First, let's dig it a little bit deeper and actually see the drone itself. I'm so pumped. So those of you who haven't been to my channel before, I actually, I had a DJI Mini 2, and I just sold that yesterday, crazy enough. Uh, I've been looking to upgrade for a little while now, uh, and I'll go into a little bit of why I wanted to upgrade, what made me choose this one, all that good stuff. Man, that is sick. Oh, that is sick. All right, so this, this is the drone itself. Let's get into it. <laughs> Break the whole thing. <laughs> it definitely, it feels bulkier. They, they weigh the same, the Mini 2 and this one, uh, both weigh the same, which is really cool. Man, that is nuts. So, that's a heck of a gimbal guard. <laughs> it looks like a alien spacecraft. All right, that is sick. This off the camera. Wow, that camera is a lot smaller than I had. Actually thought it would be crazy enough. Like it's bigger than my last one still, but I, I had anticipated it being like a little bit thicker, I guess. That is awesome. And as you can see, there are sensors everywhere. I think even on the, yeah, even right there on the back, that's nuts. It's weird because like, oh, that's different. Oh, okay. So to open it, just bam, bam. The other one was like, what? What? And then this, I'm guessing, yep, just goes forward. Well, that's sick. Look at that. It it seems, I think it's wider. I think it's got longer arms than the last, um, than the other one too. So that's pretty crazy. Awesome, yeah, you got same place for your battery, all that good stuff, but it looks like you can actually, that's how you pull it out, that's nuts. It won't just pop out, you have to pinch these side things, bada bing, bada boom. Light work, you have a SD card slot, you have the charging port, all that good stuff, that is awesome. The camera is big, I'm not gonna lie, I just thought it would be bigger, um, and that was one of the many features that I, I liked about this. So guys, now let's get into, oh hey, shoot, there's still more. Still a couple more things in the box, let's get through it. Obviously where the drone goes. Ah! Oh, okay, so this is where all your cords go for connecting the remote to your phone or tablet, whatever you use. I think a charger cord, at least. Go! Nice, charger cord. This is USB-C to USB-C. Thankfully, I have one of those. Your extra propellers, all that good stuff. Extra thumb finaglers and instructions. Basic stuff. Here's something that's different than the other... Here's what's different than what you might expect, I guess. And that would be the remote. I went with this one because I'm cheap. No, <laughs> I went with this one because it's it's literally the exact same as the one in the DJI Mini 2. I went with this one just because the other one is is like 300 to 400 bucks. Like it's, it's crazy. And so as cool as the other one is with having the screen actually built in and touch screen, all that good stuff. Like that's sick. But I'm, I'm used to this anyways from the DJI Mini 2 to where like it's really not a big deal. It will fly the same. The only difference is I'll be using my phone instead. I would like the convenience of having the screen, but it is what it is. I'm not going to pay 200 extra for just flying the drone around. I hope that makes sense to you guys. Same deal. It's really cool because back in there is actually where you like, gosh dang my voice. It's where you plug in the cord to go from the remote to your to your phone. So I have an Android USB-C, USB-C, super easy. So anyways, here is the remote. What's really cool is on the bottom is actually where you have your toggle sticks, your joysticks, I guess you'd call them. Uh, yeah, pretty sick. And then you can just charge the drone from down there. You have all your modes right here, normal, sport, and then Cine all the way over. Uh, return home, power button, all that good stuff. Yeah, pretty basic, same as my last drone. So you might be wondering, so why did I choose this one? Why didn't I just go with the Mini 3? Why didn't I get a bigger drone? A lot of questions maybe are running through your head. I don't know. Anyways, I'm gonna try to address a couple, hopefully give you guys a better understanding of my decision behind this. I was actually gonna do the Mini 3 uh, because you get the true vertical, which I thought was really cool, especially like with TikTok and I'm trying to do more YouTube shorts, things like that. So I thought that was a really great feature. A little bit extra flight time, I believe, as well as still a better camera, all that good stuff. So I was like, yes, let's do it. It's only like 400, not only, it's, it's expensive, don't get me wrong. 
it's only it's like 460 500 bucks something like that for the one that comes with a remote like this for the other one it's like 600 bucks with the fancy remote and it's only the mini 3 so i was like no no so i'll do the mini 3 pro and what makes this one stand out compared to the other ones is the sensors so something that i really wanted to have more of with the mini 2 was actually it being able to track me which is something that this drone can do uh, a lot of times i'm shooting by myself i, I love my friends but they they've never really flown drones before so i get nervous and i don't want to risk <laughs> a 400 500 drone in their hands i guess I love you guys i'm sorry anyways so that's what's nice about this is it has active tracking as well as these sensors will actually prevent it from hitting objects in the way so you can like be running through a forest or whatever or you can be riding your bike through the hills it doesn't matter but it will catch whatever object is in its way whether that's backwards or forwards so i thought that was incredible so once again for less than the price of a mini 3 with a fancy controller i get this or for about the same price. I don't know, to me that was a no-brainer. Yeah, I've been meaning to upgrade for a while just because, uh, no, I want that extra, I want that better quality. This has 4K at 60 frames per second, which the Mini 2 had 4K at 30 frames per second, or 1080 with uh, super slow-mo at 120 frames per second, which is absolutely mind-blowing. Look at the size of this camera. I mean, I guess it's comparable to a phone camera. You know, they're, they're getting smaller and smaller with better and better quality which is insane as far as flight time this should have better flight time as well for this will have upwards of like 34 minutes where mini 2 had about 30 31 give or take kind of depending i live in wyoming where it's really windy like all the time so a lot of times it's more like 25 26 ish now something i didn't know is the actual photo quality as well of this versus the mini 2 so this has 48 megapixels raw I believe which is compared to the dji mini 2 it has 12 megapixels i have 48 packed in here that's four times more than the last drone i had like that's that's unreal okay so to answer the next question why did i choose this one over like getting a a, a big one i really like the mini series i love the mini 2 i loved its portability aspect um as you guys may or may not know i took it to korea i got some drone footage there i took it to oregon got drone footage there I've taken them camping, all that good stuff. And not that I couldn't do that with bigger drones, but it's definitely, I would say it's probably not as easy as taking something like this where it literally fits in the palm of your hand. Like, that's just nuts. So yeah, so that, that would be the big thing with that. With it being 249 grams, you also are less restricted on where you can and cannot fly. And once again, it depends where you're at. Do your research, look into the, the rules and regulations around you. But for the most part, the 249 grams gets you just about anywhere in the US, I would say. Um, and once again, there's tons of different maps you can look at to, to look at what's authorized and what's unauthorized, um, all that good stuff. But ultimately, I thought that this would be a great new addition to the camera family, the dream team. Um, and hopefully I can do justice for you guys as far as getting great quality content that you guys can enjoy with this drone. I'm really looking forward to it. And uh, yeah, I just can't thank you guys enough for taking this journey with me. One last thing, be sure to subscribe because I'm gonna have all this drone content coming out. So guys, stay tuned for that. Uh, this summer, I'm trying to go camping. I'll be trying to do some trips, hopefully down in Colorado a little bit. Anyways, there's gonna be a lot of content coming your way. If you guys do have any questions, just shoot them in the comments.